there's only one thing that uh one wrong thing in the code that you have to change let's see before i go show you what it is i made a didn't pick up i made a lights out method that's basically the first part of light timer except the only major difference is i use the intensity instead of the range that's basically it and what it does not do it does not go back up and down so this just fades out whatever the frame time is uh, now i do want to fade out that uh, kind of orbiting light that we just made so if there's a light i don't necessarily want to run light timer or lights out i need to make a decision which one of those two to run so here's where I'm going to go. So this will let us put the lights out on pickups just put the lights out so light time light out okay so that and and it's only going to try to do those if there's a light so it's not going to run the recoroutine routine if there's not and so basically this checking up here means i don't have to check if light is null inside these because i basically logically already decided that's not null. All right, so let's fix the light fixer. So your original code had transform here, and we weren't using, transform refers to the position of the light fixer, uh, which was kind of doing this weird force rotate orbit thing. So what you really want here is the pickup position, because the pickup is rotating, but his position's not changing. So we're using the position of the pickup. So take the difference of these two positions, normalize it, and then we should be good to go down here. Save all this stuff. Run back in. Okay. We're using quite a bit of lighting right now. I happen to think it looks kind of neat. I would not do too many pickups with this much lighting in here. Uh, I do have the shadows off on uh, almost all these lights. And these lights should be fading out. Hmm. Fading out. Nope. I think we're looking at a parent tag. Or we should be looking at a parent tag. Alright, let's go ahead and turn this level off. Boom, expands out. Uh, the math on the expansion, I think it needs to be adjusted a little bit. But that's good enough for now, at least it's timed correctly. All right, so we hit the pickup. Where? Make that light. There. Here's the pickup. Here's where we did light out. Is pick up and pick up. Oh, here we go. This is what I was worried about previously. So our light is now a child, whereas end zone has a little different look to it. There's no children game objects. Light is right here attached to this game object. All right, so that is what I was worried about three recordings ago. So we're going to get component. I'm going to go, yeah, I get component in the children. This also looks in the game object itself. So it first looks in the game object, and then if it doesn't find it there, then it looks in the children. And if it doesn't find it in the children, it looks in the children of the children, etc., until it stops. Uh, so hopefully, 
The reason I didn't see an error is because I did all that uh, checking before I tried to turn these things off. So carefully watch. Start moving kind of quick there. All right, so. Light may just not be on because there's too many of you. There's a limit to how many you can be on the screen at one time. It looks like it went away. I think we're okay now. All right. So I'm happy with the way this performed. So their performance is going to be bad in terms of uh, uh, how much graphics going to utilize. But let's go ahead and build and run. See where we're at. So hideous right there. I'll see if I can change that. It does limit the lights in this mode too. So you saw that one kind of come in and fade out. So I may be overusing lighting. Also, it looks kind of wonky when I'm close by. All right. If I was really making a game, what I probably would do if I want a lot of these is I would only have a few lights enabled. And hopefully they'd be in some linear setup, so you could basically have the next three of them illuminated, and then the following ones not illuminated. And so, you know, when you picked up one, the next one would illuminate. But I'm pretty happy with the way this looks right here. And jump. I'll deal with the jump and making some fun platforming next. All right. I like the way this looks. Wow, that was painfully bright. 